Hey, hey, welcome to another video by Morales. My name is Bharat and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could leverage Morales Extended RPC to fetch all transactions for a given wallet address. So let's get started. Like you can see from my screen, this is a sample React app that we're going to be building. And this basically lets you paste a given wallet address, uh, set various block numbers between which you want to query the transactions for, set limit and cursor in case you're basically querying a wallet which has like a large number of transactions and what we're going to be doing is we're going to query this with vitalik's wallet so i have vitalik's wallet address right here we're going to go straight here and we're going to paste it and let's fetch all the transactions so you can see here that vitalik has like a huge number of transactions obviously and uh, we have a cursor as well so that we could keep querying the upcoming transactions as well so the cool thing over here is we're going to do this with just one rpc api call that is eth underscore get transactions so morales extended rpc makes it super easy for devs who are building on top of rpc nodes because apart from just the evm apis which are supported by a typical json rpc node these extended rpc let you do a lot more things and we'll be seeing what are those soon so I definitely recommend to check out our documentation, which is available at docs.morales.io. Go into the extended RPC method section in the RPC nodes area. And once you're there, you can basically see that uh, what are the available methods for our Morales RPC infrastructure. And you can see the first one is ETH get transactions. Uh, we already did a tutorial earlier where we covered how to get the ERC20 token balances for a given wallet address. So this tutorial is going to be on this particular RPC method, eat get transactions. So these custom methods make it super easy for you to integrate because you just have to have one RPC infrastructure. And with that, you can directly do a lot more operations which involve uh, wallet data, token data, NFT data, etc. And uh, if you were to do this without uh, extended RPC method, the typical way of getting all the transactions is very complex and would require you to actually build different data layers in order to ensure that you maintain a database and have all the transactions indexed in order to be able to fetch all the transactions for a given wallet address. So let's get started. So to build this, we are going to leverage the ETH underscore get transactions RPC API. And uh, to get started, you would just have to go into morales.io. So once you're in morales.io, you can just hit login. And once you have logged in, you'll be able to see your dashboard. Now you just got to go into the nodes section. Once you're in the nodes section, you can basically create a node. Just click on create a node, select a protocol. We're going to go with Ethereum mainnet for this tutorial. Once you've selected Ethereum and mainnet, just hit create node. And uh, once you've done that, you can basically see I've already had two nodes before. So this was the node that just got created. And you can basically copy the wallet address, uh, the RPC URL. So once you've copied the RPC URL, what you've got to do is you can directly clone the repo to get started for this particular application. And you can just see the ENV example file, copy that, create a .env and paste your RPC node URL right over there. And then you could do npm install and start and then npm start and then you'd be able to run the app. So you could check the GitHub readme which covers the process on how you could run this particular application. But now let's just do a quick walkthrough of the code. So like you can see here, these are some input variables that we're capturing, uh, such as the user address that we want to query the transactions for, the from block, the to block, and in case you're querying a large wallet, a wallet with large number of transactions, you have the cursor and limit also is relates to that. And finally, we have the transactions and the response cursor, which we set after we get the response from the RPC call. So this is where the RPC call essentially happens. And like you can see, we're making the RPC call directly to the Morales node URL. And once we get that, we are setting the transactions and the response cursor as well. So this is where the RPC call basically happens. And you can see over here that it's just one RPC call. Once we get the response, the rest of the things are pretty simple, which is mapping that response onto a table. And we're capturing all these fields, the from address to address, transaction hash, receipt gas used, block number and block hash. And uh, essentially that's uh, all that's required to integrate the API to fetch all the, ER, uh, fetch all the transactions for the given wallet address. And if you want to try this out without, uh, Cloning this app, you could directly head to docs.morales.io. Just go into ETH get transactions, copy your API key from the platform, 
so you could just hit this button copy the key uh once you have done that you paste your key over here and let's remove all these fields and let's just do a query for vitalik's wallet once you've done that you can just hit test live api and you can see the response will come below okay i think we just missed this comma here let's do it again yep so here you go you can see all the uh, transaction data has come over here you have the transaction hash the nonce transaction index and all these fields which will be super helpful if you're building uh, apps that leverage transaction data so this is how you can get started to build your first uh, d app using our extended rpc api eth get transactions and uh, you should definitely join our discord so that you can get any support for integrations or any issues and definitely check out our documentation and you can get started building your first app and let me know if you have any queries and i'll be super happy to help out thank you